The View, high above our broadcast location tonight, the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Toronto Raptors. Kevin Harlan here alongside Greg Anthony and Chris Webber. DA David Aldridge is on our sideline. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Toronto, off to a great start this season, currently in second. And for the Raptors, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Oh, come on, Jay. You know that's the mindset you have to have. They know if they can get to the playoffs, they have the talent to do some real damage. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, the era of star-free agents increasingly being on the move has created a media frenzy that sometimes can be intense and draining. Some players like Kevin Durant have pushed back against year-long and incessant free agency questions. Warriors coach Steve Kerr said, we're all actors in a soap opera. And we have to deal with that part of it. Kevin? It can be a circus. David, thanks. A lot of speed out there, Chris. Should be a track meet tonight. You played in a number of systems. Did you prefer a faster game or a slower pace? Oh, I preferred the fastest game. That's why I love the West Coast play. Now, you got some teams changing that, especially when you look at Milwaukee and Toronto. They play like West Coast teams, but, oh, I love the West Coast style of play, and uh, I love playing fast. It's a lot more fun for everyone. It is. Here are the five for the Raptors. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Lowry out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Gasol in at the center position. And for the Lakers, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. JaVale McGee is out there with Anthony Davis. And it's Bradley in a point guard. A foul right off the bat. You hate to pick up your first one so quick. Oh, here's Van Vliet, guarded by Green. Beyond the arc, Van Vliet can't get it to go. And so James will bring it up to Los Angeles. Green deciding where to go with it. Pass to LeBron. Knocked loose. Five to shoot. Davis finds Bradley. Good D by Siakam. Here's Ananobi, guarded by Green. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Now, here's Brent. About a minute played so far here in the first. McGee's shot is off. Last outing for Toronto. They won that game against the Pelicans. Siakam passes to Lowry. And Davis pulls it down. He's not an easy man to stop when he's attacking the basket. The D doing everything he can. Bradley passes to Davis. That shot is off. Good work defensively by Lowry. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing is early. Back to Ananobi. Outside Gasol. Pass to Lowry. Down to five on the shot clock. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Man, you got to love watching James Scott for the slam. I mean, demonstrating how high he can get up off the drive. Well, last season, LeBron James dealt with injuries. I mean, he ended up playing just 55 games. That's the fewest in his career. He's hoping he stays healthy this goal. Not how you want to start the game. Four straight misses. I, I'd like to see some better ball movement from him. He pulls off the Houdini to bake that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. They've been looking out of sync offensively. 
Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. So, timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And throughout his career, Chris, no doubt here, LeBron known for his durability. Well, just two seasons ago, he played all 82 games with a deep playoff run. Now he's in his mid-30s. Age does come into question. Father Time is undefeated, but he'd love to stay on top as long as possible. Gasol passes to Lowry. Here's on an open. James covering. Siakam against Davis. Shot clock at six. Ananobi passes to Gasol. Here's Van Vliet. No good on the three. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Takes the 13-footer, and Bradley gets it to go. I've experienced helping Bradley there. I mean, he's used to taking and making contested and well-defended shots. Here's Siakam, and Davis sends it back. And it's Green missing. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Here's Davis, and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Oh, nice look by Bradley, moving it to the open man. Raptors trail by eight. And here is Van Vliet. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Yeah, and don't forget about his passing. I mean, he didn't forget about his teammates. He was spreading the ball all over the floor. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the most improved player in the league last season, Pascal Siakam got better in every statistical category. The Raptors shooting their first free throws of the game. good Siakam and it's those diamond in the rough players that so often elevate the top teams and Greg that's what the Raptors found in Pascal Siakam no doubt the 27th pick back in 2016 now a full-time starter on a rookie contract just over two mil this season he is due for a big race so he hits one of two from the strike Chris, this is a specialty of yours. Which, which current bigs are, are best at finishing contested shots right at the rim? Oh, well, I'll tell you this. The best big in the league last year, averaging 17 points, scoring in the paint, Giannis Anthony Cooper. Yes. I mean, he'll dunk on anybody, move out the way he finishes. What about <laughs> Embiid inside? What about Gobert? What about Boogie Cousins? Should I continue? I can keep going because the big man is back, baby. Here's Lowry. Pass to Powell. Siakam kicks to Powell. Shoots over Kuzma. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. And a chance here to see the numbers for Davis. Great showing for him last season. Putting up about 26 points per. 12 rebounds and almost two and a half blocks. And not many players possess his kind of ability to protect the rim. I mean, you look at the block total, pretty remarkable. Yeah, we talk about players getting hot offensively. He's in the same kind of groove with his defense right now. He's a beast at that end of the floor. With the clock winding down. Really having a difficult time getting anything to fall. Siaka misses. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the back door. Davis inside, Powell on him, and Davis puts it in. Davis has got eight. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Oh, man, they built a monster lead here early on. And a lot of this is due to the game plan. He just can't find the touch this quarter. He, he's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. Up high to stop the alley-oop. 
Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, they've got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. The drive by Siakam. Howard, one of the league's most feared rim protectors in the league. You've got to give him credit for his confidence. I mean, he hasn't hit a single shot this quarter, but he still keeps firing. Second chance shot, and it's blocked by Ibaka. Howard. Here's Powell, and the dunk by Powell. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, you're right. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lay-in. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Los Angeles Lakers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now a veteran in the NBA, Serge Ibaka, talked about his role on this team. I like to do all those little things, running up and down, blocking shot, uh, straight to floor, making open shot, you know, rolling the basket, screen, you know, those dirty work. I like to do that. And Ibaka, Greg, a great complimentary player. And you like his combination of size and skill, able to impact the game at both ends on a high level. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Yeah, in that first period, they looked to push in transition at every opportunity. With the game being fast-paced these days, you can expect this from a lot of teams, but they did it very well. So on the floor for Toronto to start this second quarter, Siakam and Ibaka, the duo down low. Davis is out there at Lowry, and it's Powell in at the three spot. Of the Raptors, Nick Nurse winning an NBA title in his first season. Greg is an NBA head coach. The first time a head coach who'd also helmed a team in a foreign league has won it. Nurse often reminisces fondly on those days coaching in Europe. And this summer, he was entrusted with coaching the Canadian national team at the FIBA World Cup. The first one falls. And with LeBron James managing to extend his prime, the pressure is on this Lakers organization to make the most of it. Yeah, you're right, G.A. I mean, it's the kind of pressure you want, though. I mean, getting those superstar players is the hard part. Finding that supporting cast, that's the hard work part. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. A championship standard in L.A. with the Lakers. The expectations will always be high. Oh, yeah, G.A., yeah, you've been there with me. I mean, we both looked up in the Raptors and seen those 16 championship banners up there. I mean, with LeBron James in the fold, the expectation is to get to 17, 18, 19. And, and no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Powell against Caldwell Pope. The pass to Kuzma. Over Davis. Kuzma can't get it to go. Uh, a golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. And what a take from Lowry. Using that quickness to just blaze to the rim. Los Angeles leading by five. Daniels with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. And Siakam with the basket on the assist from Ibaka. And great hustle to turn that block shot into a fast break opportunity. Big time play on both ends. Cook dishes to Caldwell Pope. Kuzma right side. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Siakam outside. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Pass to Daniel. 
Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. They get it back. Howard, that's good. Hey, with those points, he puts it into that 10 0 run by Toronto. And the Raptors call time. And even though Chris Dwight Howard won't be logging the 35 plus minutes he once did, he is still a factor when he's on the floor. Oh, yeah, Kevin. You, you better pay attention to Dwight. He, he can still hurt you with any touch he gets around the basket. I like seeing him in short bursts where you can force the opposing team to a, adjust to him inside. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. James comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Green is checked in for Caldwell Pope. And Bradley subbed in for Cook. Here's LeBron. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Ibaka. Here's on an open, headed by Green. Pass to Van Vliet. Floats one, and the rejection by James. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, one of the reasons Toronto was able to win the NBA championship was the astronomical improvement from Pascal Siakam, who was recognized as the league's most improved player. It was the dream of Pascal's late father that he reached this level. His determination to make that reality has brought him a long way from home. Kevin? It has indeed, D.A. Great story, and thank you. Shooting two. That one is off. Hey, Chris, this year, pioneer Chuck Cooper inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Long overdue, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, he was the first African-American player ever to be drafted. I mean, just, let's just think about that. Mm -hmm. Jackie Robinson of, of basketball. He paved the way, and uh, what he endured, uh, and his teammates, by the way, of all colors, uh, is well documented. And, and I think the Celtics need to, and I think they will retire his number 11 and have it hang up in that fame Raptors of theirs over there. I agree. Right side Gasol lets it go from 11. McGee with the block. And when we mentioned McGee's outstanding length, you know, there, you saw what he did. He used that to swap the shot. Raptors trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Ananobi passes to Van Vliet. Here's Ananobi, guarded by Green. Powell against James. And the Raptors miss again. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. James has got five points so far. And the in-between shot of James, a thing of beauty. I mean, he's so clever at taking advantage of this area of the floor. Passes to Gasol. And here is Van Vliet. The pass to Ibaka. Shoots over Grant. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. No good on that one. Good D by Gasol. Raptors trail by six. 50 seconds left now here in the second. It's Powell on the wing. Guarded by Bradley. Here's Hananobi. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Davis. Two seasons at Indiana for OG Ananobi, and the 23rd pick of the 2017 draft. Great talk about his game. You know, NBA ready physically from day one. You know, still working for consistency with the shooting, especially at the free throw line. 
but I like his potential as a two-way player. And the first one drops. And the Toronto Raptors knew in trading for Kawhi Leonard that he might not stick around. Even after his decision returned to his hometown of Los Angeles, Greg, the Raptors have to feel good about the way it all worked out for him. Kevin, the first championship in franchise history, and now they set about working their way back to the mountaintop. Some talented young players and quality vets, not to mention an outstanding front office. I think it'd be a mistake to count them out. Hacked and still knocked it down. Nice composure. As the game has gone on. along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the backboard. And the trade for Anthony Davis a risk for the Lakers, but they feel, Greg, that both sides will find an extension this offseason. There is mutual interest from both sides. Lakers made the trade confident Davis would resign. A bit of a leap of faith, but the Lakers did everything they could to secure Davis long term. Howard's checked in for Los Angeles. And guys, at this point in his career, Anthony Davis just entering his prime. Crazy to think when you look at what he's already accomplished thus far. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. Pass to Gasol. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Gasol's got his first two points of the night. Gasol has always shot a very high percentage on catch and shoot jumpers. You know, hit him with a good pass. He'll make the most of it. The three from Bradley. But they recover it. He knocks it down. But wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And the teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. And, and, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. They're going to switch the call. There is no doubt in looking at the replay that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the... All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny. The it was a big-time first quarter from Anthony Davis. He had 13 points, five rebounds, and one block. Taking a look at the Lakers, Chat, what'd you think? I'll tell you what, Anthony. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. You, you just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Yeah, working the ball, getting clean, quality looks. I mean, just efficient basketball through and through. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Raptors trail by eight. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Lakers. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Avery Bradley is out there with Green. And it's McGee in at the pivot, manning the middle. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And you see why McGee's teammates lob it up his way? Because they know he can go up and get it. Here's on an open. Back to Lowry. Now Van Vliet looking for Gasol. He gets it there. McGee with the block. 
Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Raptors trail by 12. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Siakam against McGee. Siakam misses. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. Here's James. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. Good. McGee's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Back to Lowry. Van Vliet looking around. Here's Gasol. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Gasol's got his second bucket of the night. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Gasol against McGee. And stolen by Siakam. The dish to Lowry. Down low. McGee with the block. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. And the shot goes in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Pass to Van Vliet. He kicks to Gasol. Six on the shot clock. No coverage that time. Gasol's got six. Stepping out to the mid-range takes Gasol a, a little outside his comfort zone. But as we see here, that's not to say he can't get a dunk from it. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Well, if teams are getting shaken up a bit, coach is usually the first to go, get fired. Do you think teams get too trigger happy with that aspect, coach first, and and then looking at the team? Yeah, I do. Um, but but unfortunately, if you're the head of, of the team, that's that's the responsibility, and, and that's kind of uh, that's just your job to take all of the heat. Uh, being a coach is such a thankless job. You don't get thanked unless uh, you win the championship. If not, it's like, uh, good job, okay. We don't care about the fires you put out. We don't care about the players you develop. We don't care about the chemistry you built. You didn't win, and so yeah, coaches are usually the first to go, and it's unfair. But hopefully, uh, they have some connections and they have a good resume because they'll be back around somewhere else. They'll pop up somewhere else. They sure will. Here's Hananobi. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Lakers leading by 14. It's Kuzma penetrating. Davis. They shoot again. It's stolen by Lowry. Fast break Toronto. Ahead. Here's Davis. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. What's up? That one on Caldwell Pope. And they need those kind of plays right now. Smart defense that generates some oak. Toronto shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. The Raptors also changing it up. Baca comes in for Mark Gasol. And it's Powell in for OG Ananobi. One shot. That one misses for Davis. And last season, really not a fun one for Dwight Howard as he missed a lot of time. A lot of games left on the table by him as he has battled those back issues. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Siakam. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Cook kicks to Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Kuzma. The shot's good. Kuzma's got his first bucket of the night. And with Howard, his presence was missed in the lineup last year due to injuries. And Howard isn't what he once was, but he can still make a difference on the floor. That size and rebounding really hard to replace on a team by just one player. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a big summer for the Lakers, trading for Anthony Davis for a time. 
Greg, it even looked like they had a great shot at landing Kawhi Leonard. He ends up choosing the Clippers, which gives rise to a compelling rivalry. The nexus of NBA basketball has shifted to the city of Angels. Whichever team you root for, L.A. fans with a lot to celebrate. The first free throw is good. Well, free throwing was never the strength of Howard's game. He doesn't get the second one. And with a younger generation of fans cutting the cord, Adam Silver has talked about ways, Chris, to make the games, the NBA games, more accessible. Yeah, and as a guy, Kevin, that played on the West Coast, I know many people aren't happy with this idea, but I say move the games up an hour. Move it to 6 o'clock so that I could watch LeBron on the West Coast when I'm living on the East Coast and be and yes. be to bed by a normal time where kids can stay up. But how about the streaming? I mean, you can watch it on your phone. So many better and different ways now. I mean, before, if you were traveling, you could never watch a game because you had to be by a, a TV set stuck into a wall. Now, that's your phone, your pads, and everything else. So I love the game. It's becoming more global because of, of the expansion and how we've gotten players out there in front of fans. And now, uh, with the access that fans have from some type of mobile device, uh, I... I, I just love it. I love it. Puts it up from 12. Lowry, good. Lowry's got four this quarter. Oh, great production on the interior right now. Eight straight from inside. There's 31 seconds left in the third. Cook, the pass to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope right side. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Fades. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Well, there's a lesson for you. Don't showboat. Tries to get fancy with the fadeaway. <laughs> and it backfires. Here's Lowry. Lowry can't get that one to fall. Good if it goes. The shot, no good. And so it's Los Angeles. Holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And we'll be right back after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session tomorrow. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So for Toronto right now, Siakam and Ibaka, the duo down low. Fred Van Vliet out there with Lowry, and it's Powell in at the small forward. Nice work on the glass, but his defense was even better. Really has an impact on that shot. Here's Lowry. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got three assists now in this one. And it's Cook with the ball for the Lakers. They've led by as many as 14 points. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Suns in Phoenix. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Now, here's Caldwell Pope, covered by Van Vliet. Basket good. Cook's got his first two points. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. Now, here is Lowry. Siakam outside. Shot clock at five. And clock. That one goes careening off the glass. And it's the Lakers on the break. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. 
still playing at an MVP level. LeBron James, the greatest player of his generation, and some would argue, of all time. We can't take for granted what we've been able to witness. And the first one at the line is good. And now in his mid-30s, LeBron showing no sign of slowing down. Man, his dedication to training and, and really maintaining his body second to none. Uh, alongside his prodigious athleticism, it seems that's made a huge difference. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. Anthony Davis comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Green, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And it's Avery Bradley in for Cook. Well, the GOAT watch continues. Every year, every accomplishment goes into the analysis. I mean, LeBron will probably never be able to escape. Lowry can't get it to go. Lakers leading by 13. Bradley deciding where to go with it. And there's the pass to McGee. Kicks to LeBron. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got four rebounds in this game. He dishes it to Lowry. Pass to Ananobi. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And a chance now to look at the schedule coming up for the Toronto Raptors. On Monday, they'll be playing against Lou Williams and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. Outside, Davis. James in the post, covered by Siakam. And that one's good, James. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Pass to on and open. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Raptors call time here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? Thank you, David. Yeah, and that's been the story of the game. I mean, the rebounding has been very one-sided. And he gets the bucket. And that's 15 points for Anthony Davis. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. To end the drought. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. Right side, Gasol. Siakam against Davis. Six to shoot. Ananobi kicks to Lowry. From deep three-point range. You know what a kind of competitor he is? I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. Here are the Lakers with the ball. It's been eight unanswered points for him. James looking it over. And finished off by LeBron. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. Oh, and they're showing no signs of letting up. I love this approach right now. 
They value each possession. Passes it to Van Vliet. Raptors moving the ball around. Gasol, no good. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. No, doing anything they can to stop the bleeding, but so far they've had no answers. Started. Well rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output, they're putting in the work at the defensive end as well. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by 21. 152 left here in the fourth quarter. And now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Anthony Davis. And he's put on a terrific show of skill in the paint. A combination of moves, footwork, and that soft touch down low. It's all added up to one dominant performance for the big fella. Taking on the defending jams always adds a little extra meaning to the game. And with the way he's gotten after it tonight, it was clear this one meant a lot to him. Back to Thomas. Outside Gasol. Five on the clock. There's the pass to Thomas. From deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Yes, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Los Angeles. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight. And that was the edge they needed. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Anthony Davis. You have to love the way that he was closing out on defensive trips. He would always body up, and it's why he ended with so many boards. Stolen by Thomas. And now here's Johnson, the fast break chance. And then Johnson with the dunk. Boy, that has to be a relief. Ending a 14-0 run by Los Angeles. 29 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Dudley. Dishes to McGee. Right at the free throw line. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Johnson. Yeah, McGee, he's made an awful lot of stops along the way in his NBA career, but he's been a productive player on just about every team he's played for. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Here's Hollis Jefferson. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. AD, it looked like you guys were having some fun out there. Is there a new dynamic coming up offensively? Um, no, we just don't care who scored the ball. You know, the ball movement was great. Everybody's rebounding and talking. So when we play like that, it's fun to watch. You know, and everybody out there having fun, smiling, um, a lot of emotion. That's all we ask. That's all Coach asked for, and we did that tonight. Good win tonight, A.D. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.